The Lifetime Achievement Award uh, being presented to me, I feel honored uh, and I feel very, very humble. Um, you do things in your life that you just do them because you want to do them, you try to be helpful, you try to be caring. Uh, having said that, um, there are an awful lot of wonderful, wonderful people on the board and uh, in the hospital and uh, the medical staff and the nurses and everybody else. It's a very much of an honor to be recognized. One of the most striking things about Dick Newhouse is the firmness of his grip, coupled with the softness of his heart. He's someone, you meet him the first time, he just has this bear hug of a grip. And as you get to know him, you know that he just produces good things and he does it with great heart and compassion. He just is good with people and they trust him and they like him and it's never a job for him. He, he likes it. He talks a little too much sometimes, I think, but... <laughs> I was born here in uh, 1942 and the hospital was a bit smaller than it is today. But the hospital has grown, and uh, the family at the hospital, I think, has grown. And this is what's so important. I met Dick as part of the class of the 80s, I would call it, at Winthrop Hospital. And we had five new people that joined in the 80s, and it was one where Winthrop had just, uh, I guess, 10 years before that, had become a teaching institution. Dick is always there. Um, he's, um, you know, he brings a long history of being at Winthrop and a real cheerleader for Winthrop. He, he's a very steady type guy. Dick is uh, a very enthusiastic guy, very committed to the hospital. He was involved with Fred Hicks in this, forming the Winthrop South Nassau Health System. The hospital was going through a period of transition, so he had quite a task uh, in front of him to, uh, to get these various parts moving in the right direction, and I think he did a very good job at it. I have a strong feeling and love for the hospital. Okay, not just because I was born here, but because in 2001, I didn't feel very good. I had come back recently from France, and uh, I was uh, fortunate to uh, have the doctors uh, diagnose me. I basically, uh, I had no fear of it, because I thought I was being treated by my friends, and I knew they would take good care of me. During the time he was chair, he got to have some first-hand experience, and so uh, we said that was above and beyond the call of duty. You didn't have to go into the hospital room just to find out how good our service was. I went to visit him in the hospital, and his wife Tracy was there, and, we, and I was there to see how he was doing. And I said, Pat, you got to fill in. I got this, and I got that, and I got like, you have to you have to pay attention to this, and this person's coming to that meeting. Tracy got very upset with him and with me that we had to stop that. They had to relax and not worry about hospital business. I think if there's one thing that Dick always focused on, it was how do the decisions of the board, how does the strategy of the board working in concert with the administration impact our patients? I think the one thing that I always remember Dick for is one of the champions for the chaplaincy program. He, uh, that was a, a, an effort that needed a sponsor and, and Dick was a, a major, major player in making that happen. I'm very proud of the chapel here. That means a lot to Dick and I. We both have a deep faith. I was involved with the chapel through the chaplaincy program. And we gave a, a room in memory of my mother. And I think that holistic approach is the doctors can help you physically and mentally and spiritually, if you can get that in as well, that really, uh, the, end, the end result is even better. It's been 13 years since I've had a quadruple bypass and I'm not unrestricted. I can do anything I'd like to do. And so somebody did a good job. Dick is one of the most caring people you'll ever meet. Uh, he cares about his institution, he cares about his family. The only thing he doesn't care about is the golf score. Dick loves to play golf, but he loves more adjusting his handicap higher. I have this vivid memory of, of Dick Newhouse uh, working through uh, the angling of his handicap. On a more serious note, Dick, thank you for your friendship, for what you've done for Winthrop Hospital. Congratulations. It's wonderful that he's got this award. He's worked very hard and put in many, many hours and certainly deserves it. He's someone who has distinctively 
gone at his duties and viewed them not as duties, but, and, but as a responsibility uh, to his fellow man. And he's done it with distinction, he's done it with class and first-rate impact. So I think if there's anyone who deserves a Lifetime Achievement Award, it's Dick Newhouse. I don't think he's a guy who likes the spotlight. I think he likes to be behind the scenes. I think he might be a little embarrassed by all the attention. I definitely think he deserved it. As chair of the nominating committee, I was pushing aggressively for it. He has a good feeling about him that uh, attract people. and he, he definitely deserves the Lifetime Achievement Award. Dick, congratulations on receiving Winthrop Hospital's Lifetime Achievement Award. You are decent, loyal, and you are a man who exhibits strong Christian values. It's an honor to be recognized, let's put it that way. That's, uh, that, that's it. I, to be honest with you, I don't quite know why I was picked. <laughs> if you really want to know, you can't edit that out. <laughs> very humble. He was very surprised and then honored. It was just being him. <laughs> <laughs>